It's Monday, November 9th, 2020. I'm Tanya Harris, and welcome to TMI Daily, your daily roundup of everything people are talking about online since they aren't allowed to talk about it in person. On Saturday, Joe Biden was declared the winner of the 2020 presidential election. Unfortunately for Mitch McConnell, he has to wait for Trump to concede before vowing to make Biden a one-term president. Trump and his supporters are claiming that Pfizer timed the announcement of their coronavirus vaccine success one week after the election in order to hurt the president's chances, which is ironic since roughly 240,000 Americans would probably have liked Trump to take COVID seriously a week or two earlier as well. There are growing concerns that Trump's delay of the presidential transition could leave the U.S. open to a terrorist attack. On the other hand, terrorists would probably be too afraid of coming to the U.S. and catching something. Russia is claiming that its Sputnik vaccine for COVID is ready and has a 97% effective rate. That means that only 3% of people fell out of windows after being injected with it. Melania tweeted out that she will be decorating the White House for their last Christmas there, which ironically may be the closest we get to a concession speech by someone named Trump. Five passengers aboard the first cruise ship to resume sailing in the Caribbean have tested positive for the coronavirus. For anyone hoping that the cruise industry was back, that ship has now sailed. Stay safe.